I didn't realise I had this many quarts. Sort of get so attracted to one or two at a time and then like ended up up on the roof. Yes, yeah, Simon and I have been good friends for about five years or so now. Our relationship and the boards have developed quite naturally over the years. In a way, nothing's sort of been forced and it's all progressed you know, over, over time. There's never been any pressure to create something for any particular reason. There's such a beauty in, in the boards and, and uniqueness in the boards that he makes, you can spot them from a mile away. And he's always been inspired by 70s inspired boards. There's a really pure connection between that and his personality and his approach. It really is a reflection of the boards that he makes. This board here, this isn't the first board that Simon made, but this outline is uh, one of the original sort of templates, which is, I guess it's more so a traditional shape in, in a lot of ways. It's developed quite a bit, you know, the direction that it's steered off over the years. I'm never really writing more than one or two boards at a time. Sort of go through stages where it'll be attracted or gravitate towards a certain board and get really absorbed in it. And then I'll look for a refreshing feeling in, in something else. Keeps it exciting. This similar sort of, I guess, outline in a lot of ways, you know, the, there are similarities through it, but the round tail and the channels came at a time where, in a way, I was looking for a little more drive. And the channels, I guess, offer more drive and direction. And the round tail, something that Simon hadn't shaped in a long time with the channels, so it was quite different because I've always been a fan of the round tails. So we merged the similarities from the original into the top two thirds, and then the bottom third with the channels and the round tail gave it a more flowing, refreshing feeling at the time. And then it went along that path for quite a while with the round tails and experimenting with that. And I went down to this little guy, 5'4", which was quite different than, than that 5'8". This is the most abstracty one, I think, out of the out of the bunch. I really clicked with this board. People often relate 20s and shorter boards to suit sort of fun, sloppier waves, but I, think I like to spend spend time on the boards and all the boards do, they deserve proper waves in any sort of circumstance. None of my boards have dimensions on them. I've never written the dimensions on them, so <laughs> everything's been based on feeling rather than leaderage and all that shit. I went to Fiji last year and I, don't know, I got really excited about the concept of something longer from going between them and especially a wave like cloud break it carries a lot more water and you need to be sort of moving around a lot and that was totally sort of left wing from the direction we were going with the, the moon tail and, and then it took things down a different track of sort of stretching them out. From, from riding these boards and being on the, the shorter boards there was sort of a, a gap and because I was spending a lot more time on the mid lengths, every time I get on my shorter boards, unless it was in really good waves where, you know, the waves do the surfing. I was finding it hard to connect with the smaller boards and I was almost looking for a, a new refreshing feeling in something else. That's where this guy came on. Simon actually made this for a mate of his and I managed to get my hands on it. This thing really it was just so refreshing in so many ways and I think it attracted a new feeling that I hadn't felt before so I was drawn towards it and intrigued by it. And for a period of six months, at least, I mean, I still, still my favourite board, you know, but I, it's the only thing I would ride. And it's so diverse in a lot of ways. It was, you could surf it sort of from one foot to eight foot or, you know, a lot of different conditions. We, we actually made a seven foot version of this, but once you start squashing it down and comparing one board to another, because I had this in mind and we we're trying to recreate it smaller, it sort of lost its originality or its, its soul in a way, so it, we ended up doing this board, which is the 7.5. This is the board that I took around on the, on the few months on the bikes around New Zealand. We tried to do it with the 7.0, but it didn't quite work, and then this thing, it, it fitted sort of right in between the two and felt, you know, comfortable and had that feeling that I was sort of relating to in, in a lot of ways from that one. 
The elements of this board, this is 610, this is the, the latest one that I've really been enjoying and it sort of connects the dots in a lot of ways. Looking at this, there's sort of a full circle for it all. Every sort of six months or year, this will stem into something else and never predicted like from five years ago when we first met that I'd be riding like, you know, that this would happen.